What's an Arduino board? Let's talk about it on Quick Tech Tutorials. Welcome back to Quick Tech Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at an Arduino board and exactly what is this device and what can it do. So I have the Arduino Uno board uh, and there are different models and different brands, um, you know, and they all kind of do the same thing. Pretty much, I want to talk about just what is this thing and what can it do. So if you just got an Arduino board or you're interested in uh, programming and electronics or you've just heard of Arduino and want to know more about it, um, we're going to talk about it in a little more detail. <clears throat> so I'm going to go through some of the main components on the board. All right. Um, usually in the center, it will identify the model of the board. So in this case, it says uh, Arduino Uno R3, that's the model, and that'll be important when you start to program and build circuits. Um, the software is going to ask you what model board do you have. Now, <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff going on all around the board. We have these black rails up top and bottom. You have this kind of big black box in the middle. We have some other stuff going on, on the left hand side, and we want to kind of identify what all of this stuff is. So, first thing I'm going to look at is this side right here. And you can see I have these two different ports. All right. Um, this black port that's right here, this is to power up our board. So um, they make a wall adapter that you can plug in. Uh, they have battery snaps that can plug in. So I know my kid came with a nine volt battery uh, snap that would plug right into here. So after you're done programming and this isn't connected to your computer, you're gonna need to power it in some way. So this is our power supply. This other silver port right here, this is our USB port. So when you want to start to download program or upload program to this board, I should say, um, you need to connect it to your computer and this is done via USB. So this is our USB port that allows us to upload um, your programs to the board. And this is how you'll communicate with your Arduino. All right, so those are just a couple little ports there. Um, rotating around a little bit, you could see up at the top um, I have this large black rail, and underneath it, it says digital, and it even says PWM with kind of this little squiggly line here. So you'll notice that there's a set of numbers that goes from 0 all the way to 13, and these are your digital pins. So depending on the component that you're trying to power and program, uh, it may be a digital uh, device. So for example, let's say an LED that you want to just turn on and off. Um, it could be a push button. It may be a speaker right um any sort of digital component you will plug into one of those pins now <clears throat> there's a couple differences with certain digital devices so you notice how it says pwm and there's a squiggly line you could see uh, one of the squiggly lines right next to number three and five and six and nine ten and eleven that stands for pulse width modulation so normally a digital device will be simple on off high low uh, but certain other devices, for example, let's say an RGB LED, where you maybe want to input different values, not necessarily just an on or off, but different values of the three different colors to, to have a certain effect on it. You may use one of those pins where you could affect um, essentially the value going into that digital pin. So it's not just as stark as on or off, high or low. So you have your digital pins up there. Um, going around the board, you see this little, it just says on, and there's actually a little LED there. So this is actually important because that'll tell us if our board is actually being powered on and whether or not we have communication to it. Um, so let me actually plug my board in really quick and I'll show you what it looks like. Let's plug this in, right? And you can see that green LED is now indicated. Uh, or turned on and that's telling me that I have power to my board so you can see our little power uh, port you know being used here I have just a wall power supply that's plugged in um, and this is important again to make sure that Arduino board actually has power if you're going to upload a program and it's giving you an error um, one of the first things to check is does my board actually have power so that's our indicator right there um, <clears throat> to the left of that and they're not indicated right now but there's this TX and RX um, LEDs as well. Those will flash like a yellowish orange color 
um, especially when you're uploading a program to the board. That establishes that you have communication between your computer and the board. So while there's nothing blinking right now, if I had this connected to my computer and I was uploading a program to it, um, you would see those lights flickering kind of rapidly. And that's important just to make sure that we have uh, established communication to the board. Uh, moving around, you have this large black box in the middle, and that's essentially the brains of your Arduino board. That is your microcontroller, right? And that's kind of the heart of everything. So that's pretty much going to control everything that is happening on this board and communicate all the pins with your devices. Um, so that's kind of sitting right in there. You don't want to pull that out. Um, but that's, again, just the heart and the brains of our Arduino board. Um, on the other side, so we had our digital pins up top. You'll notice now, too, um, on the bottom right-hand side, it says analog, and it's identified with A0 up to A5. So other devices, for example, as sensors, they may be more analog devices, right? If they're an, uh, an input device, again, temperature sensor, light sensor, um, those you would connect to an analog pin. So you have uh, a couple different capabilities here, whether it's a digital uh, device or an analog device, you're able to use both with your Arduino board. Now, what I like as well about those pins, and I didn't show it before, they're also identified on the side. So we're going to try and zoom in here. Here we go. Um, as you can see, A0 through A5, and I'm just going to unplug this to flip it around. Right, you can see all of your pins also on the side of the rail. So you don't have to always look necessarily right overhead. Um, this may be a little easier in terms of um, identifying what port is what pin. Um, to the left of our analog pins, it says power. Now this is pretty important because you will have power coming into your board, whether it's connected to your computer or you have it connected to um, a power supply of some sort, whether it's plugged in or battery. But if you need uh, power to go to a breadboard, um, you have a couple different pins on the bottom. The main ones, you have 5 volts, so you see 5V. You have 3.3 volts, so depending on your circuit and the voltage needed, you have those two ports right there. And you also have ground. So if you were connecting this to a breadboard, you have your ground, you have two ground ports right here, and you also have your 5 volt and your 3.3 volts. All right. Um, this is pretty much just a simple breakdown of the Arduino board and just knowing what these pins are and what they do. Um, there are a lot of circuits online and a lot of practice uh, problems and examples that'll help you get started. But if you're opening this up out of the package and you have no idea what you're looking at, this is just meant to serve as a simple overview. Of course, feel free to check out some of our other videos on how we use Arduino to build different circuits.